Muy bien. Hermano, brother, Ken. The reason I joined the brothers was to be with young people. That's all. starts with baptism. The journey starts with baptism. And I think there's always a lingering moment, lingering feelings that draw you closer and closer to becoming who you are. Over the course of my time as a brother, uh, that concept of being brother is one that's grown and, and deepened. And I, I think it's becoming sort of a, a universal idea these days, but it's something that we've, as De La Salle brothers, we've always had. Well, um, personally, I try to I try to get that brotherhood going and I enjoy it. Well, I have a I have a young brother in year eight, and I um, sometimes when I come across here, he always tries talking to me with his friends, and and so there's not just this massive bridge between seniors and juniors. There's you know that brotherhood throughout all the sporting and house singing and house haka. There's that that brotherhood between all the year groups. The thing that I've enjoyed so much being a brother is. Uh, Meeting different people, experiencing different cultures that made me realize that it's not only me that I'm existing in this world. There's other people who are, there are other cultures who are, that needs to be respected. My experience of being a brother is that it's really given me uh, great opportunities uh, to be a Christian to be a follower of Jesus, uh, um, the opportunities to, uh, to have regular prayer, to have a Eucharist, um, to have other opportunities to develop my faith life and relationship with Jesus and my relationship with God. Um, so that's something that, that I've, uh, in my time as a brother, increasingly uh, become grateful for. Um, I, I think the thing that makes the brother is a, is a person who is uh, able to give him of himself to other people. Now, we have uh, seven brothers in the community here at the moment, and no one of those brothers are alike. We are all totally different individuals. But the thing that binds us together is the vision as to where we're off to, and that's the Christian education of young people and the, uh, the gospel message of um, goodwill, joy and peace. It's exciting, I've seen these men and they've travelled the world, they've got family across the world, their own families are always in touch with them, they never lose their family connections. So if any young man's thinking of becoming a brother, you are not going to lose your mum and dad and your brothers and sisters. They're always going to be with you. There are so many children who had no one to teach them and they were running around all over the place doing nothing. That moved him to start the schools to get a young man to teach them. When I looked at that and I looked at my own experience of growing up in a very remote village, I thought to myself that maybe I can do something like that. That moment when I heard that story, that changed my whole thinking. So then I said to the brother, I will join. Sometimes people think that as a way of life it removes you from community, but it's actually the complete opposite. You are fully engaged in, in the community. Some people have an idea of religious life that it removes you away from your families, but that's not true. Our brothers are very, very connected to their loved ones and families. They're not getting cloistered away or removed from society. They're actually fully engaged in society, still very much part of their family and their family lives. And then, they, they, and then on top of it, they get another family. They get the family of the De La Salle brothers and then the family of the community that they live in. I think there has been a huge impact since I've been in De La Salle. I think they've encouraged me through the way. I thought in the beginning it was just like a muck around. Now they're one time too and I know the values that they have given me. So there's not one particular moment that stands out to be a brother. But for me it was really in 2008, World Youth Day, when the Pope came to Sydney. Uh, that was an amazing time because it 
opened up for me a sense and a desire to really follow that energy. It energised me to say, yes, I can do this. Yes, I will do this. And I want to work for the church as a brother. I have three sons. You know, and I just look at them thinking, actually one of you could be last and brother. And as a mum, I would be so proud. And I would know, actually they're safe. There's no concern. It's just one thing. It's great fun because it's not just uh, being in school with them. Um, I also, I sometimes get invited to go up to their house and, and spend time with them. Um, yeah, they, they're very human at the same time, uh, very spiritual men. We're here at uh, John Paul College in Rotorua to promote the vocation of a brother to the young people here at the college. As brothers, we come and visit, particularly for school liturgies and Founders Day, where we connect with staff and students uh, in sharing and celebrating the traditions of St John Baptist de La Salle. Well, John Paul College is quite a Catholic and Rosalian school, and we like to focus on the three aspects of Rosalian faith, which is faith, service, and community. This is too holy and too perfect. Now, if that's the case, then I don't think I should be doing what I'm doing. I think your teachers know better. Right? <laughs> you can see in their community a very uh, close um, bond with each other, uh, the jokes they make with each other. Um, and sometimes I think to myself, oh, uh, <laughs> am I in a human house or...? Um... Muy bien. Hermano, brother. People come into the house and they see that these men actually care about each other. The idea that they're, they have each other's back, they have the idea that we are in relationship with one another and we are walking with each other on our journey. And yes, I may not see a distant relative from time to time, but when we get together, we're family. Experience myself have been men who are totally committed to uh, the vocation of teaching, but also the vocation of their own vocation of a religious consecrated life. And, um, and they witness that very, very well to the young men that they teach as great examples of commitment, faith, and, and loyalty. The important thing I see in that is that you get to touch other people's life. You mingle with other you mingle with other people's life when you're teaching them, not only teaching them the subjects, but you're teaching a life, a person who has a future that needs to go on later on. That's the life that we teach it, we mold it, we shape it. That's I think that's what I am involving in. Myself. The mission of the De La Salle Brothers is a Christian education to the poor and a quality Christian education to the poor. But when you look deeper into it, it's the reason why. The brothers believe in giving the poor access to quality Christian education because it allows that person to have fullness of life. Working in the school, either as a teacher, a youth worker, a social worker, a any sort of role, um, the brother is very active in all areas of their life. And then we, at the end of the day, we gather again in the chapel to reflect and to pray together and to reunite ourselves for the next day. And we do that every single day. I think a lot of people are afraid uh, in the sense of, is this for me? Am I worthy to do it? Or how do I know it's right? And the idea of just try it, just take one step at a time. St. LaSalle said if he would have known the journey that was going to take him all the way through his life and he looked back at life, he probably would have never started it. But the idea that we do things step by step by step and one door opens another. And if I know it's not working, then perhaps it may not be. But how do I know unless I try? That's my involvement, involving other people's life. Helping them to see what's ahead in life helping them to realize what's around them so that they are better informed so that they can make decisions in their life. This is which will help them to live life fully, enjoyably with other people around them. Have a good day. Have a good day. Take care, mate.